Hey everybody, Rick here. Uh, summer is upon us. The buying has definitely uh, slowed down pretty pretty substantially. Um, this video is mostly all unboxings. It's uh, except for two titles that I picked up. Uh, been out doing a lot of stuff, going um, to different places, just enjoying the summer. And uh, so, like I said, I have an eBay package here. I have a package from Groove. I have numerous packages from Amazon. And then a couple things I picked up um, when we recently went down to uh, Bridget's family's hometown area to celebrate uh, her 20 year high school reunion. So the camera seems to be a little crooked. That seems better, so I'm not gonna touch it anymore. So I'll show those things first. The first title here I grabbed um, from a consignment shop that we always go to when we visit Bridget's family. This was a dollar and it is the roast of William Shatner. I love the Comedy Central roast. Um, they're some of my favorite things that Comedy Central has ever done. This particular one features Jason Alexander, Andy Dick, Greg Giraldo, Jimmy Kimmel, Lisa Lampanelli, Artie Lang, Michelle uh, Nichols, Patton Oswald, Kevin Pollack, Jeff Ross, George Takai, Betty White, and Fred Willard all uh, are part of this roast. So, um, I don't know who hosted this one. Probably Jason Alexander, based on that list of people. It's from 2006. Uh, like I said, I've been trying to slowly add these in my collection. I think recently I grabbed the Flavor Flav Roast and... Dennis Leary roast. So slowly trying to add these in the collection when I find them inexpensively, I sh should be able to find most of these for a dollar. Um, so here's a brand new factory sealed copy of the William Shatner roast for a buck that I grabbed. <clears throat> Next up is a title. I bought a group um, from a person who I've actually sold on eBay to. They're local to me. When we met up, they asked if I buy movies. I have a card that I gave them. They reached out to me and said, I have this group of movies I've upgraded to 4K. Do you have interest in it? There was a few steelbooks. There was some Criterion in there. And uh, they're all top 100 AFI films. So there was one in there that I did not have in my collection that I wanted for myself. So I kept that. And that is the classic film, The Apartment, uh, which I know is highly regarded as one of the best comedies of all time. And as a comedy guy, I feel like I should check this out. Uh, written and directed by Billy Wilder, Wilder. I believe it was also co-written by IAL Diamond. So, Billy Wilder co-wrote it and directed it. And it stars Jack Lemmon, Shirley MacLaine, and Fred McMurray. So, like I said, I've never seen this one. Uh, I've always been curious about it. And had the opportunity, like I said, I'll still make money on the, the movies I bought. And add a title to my collection. So, that is The Apartment. And then we're going to get right into the packages, guys. Uh, everything is movies, I'm pretty sure, except for one of the Amazon packages. <clears throat> this was an eBay purchase. Uh, this is a movie that's been on my wish list for quite some time. I always, when I'm, when I'm bored, have some downtime. Not always. Like, maybe once every other month, once every three months. I'll check my wish list and see if I can find something on eBay, like, newly listed, that they listed too cheap. Because the stuff I've left on my wish list is kind of like, if it's not stuff coming out in the near future, it's obscure, out of print stuff, airheads, drive me crazy, license to drive, stuff like that that's out of print. There's lots of bootlegs out there of, of that stuff, especially license to drive airheads I've noticed recently. But I was able to get an amazing deal on this. This person had like just listed this a few hours before I bought it. Uh, I paid, I want to say... Eight dollars plus shipping which for this movie I thought was a steal especially with a slipcover and as a film called Patty Cakes uh, I watched this probably like five or six years back uh, I got it from the library and I really really enjoyed this one it's about a girl who wants to be a rapper um, the girl was just in something I watched recently Daniel McDonald uh, I know she was in uh, what was it called? Pump, pumpkin? Not Pumpkin. It was that Netflix movie with Jennifer Aniston. Darling? Something like that. I, mean, I feel like such a stooge. 
She was in something else we just watched recently. Uh, Bridget Everett's in it. She plays her mom. Fairly unknown cast, um, but directed by Jeremy Jasper. And I just really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was really funny. I thought it was a good story. The music was good in it. So it's been on my wish list for a while. And like I said, to find this um, in, I, th I want to say the discs were pretty mint. Blu-ray DVD combo pack with the slip cover. Blu-ray has that weird like stuff that wipes off but looks like marks on the disc that just came right off just wiping on my shirt. The DVD DVD has some a few light scratches, but I usually never watch the DVD. I don't usually only watch the Blu-ray. But it was in very good condition. I took the chance on it because there were actual photos with the slip cover, and I'm very happy with the purchase. So Patty Cage is finally added to my collection. I know Bridget has not seen that. I'm looking forward to showing her that flick. Next up, Groove. Uh, they were doing a two for 11 sale. No, not two for 11, I wish. Two for $21 sale um, on their website. And I saw a few titles. I've been trying to upgrade Bridget's DVDs. Um, stuff that is on Blu-ray, I've been trying to slowly upgrade it. Uh, plus, there was a title in here that I had, that we had on our DVD shelf to upgrade, and I was able to get an extra 20% off because I had a new email address to use for the first time discount. So, the movies were basically $10.50 each with 20% off. They were like $8.50 each, so after tax, free shipping, they were like $9. So, pretty much $9 a title. Uh, some upgrades for Bridget, a few blind buys for us as well. The first one just caught my eye, and honestly, uh, I was looking for one more title because I bought six titles. Uh, one was to flip, and uh, I got this as like the odd man out title. I've never seen this movie. The cast looks awesome, and that is My Dog Skip, which stars um, Frankie Muniz, Luke Wilson, Kevin Bacon. And Diane Lane, I'm guessing if I assume correctly about this movie, one of them might voice the dog. Does the dog talk? Is it that kind of movie? It's possible. Uh, so my dog Skip, I feel like I'm too far away from you guys. My dog Skip, I've never seen. There we go. So grab this one. Um, it's not one you really see often on Blu-ray as well. So got that. Next up is a musical that I've always wanted to check out. I've heard personally I would really enjoy this based on the musicals that I'm a fan of. I just have never had the opportunity to see this one. Starring Gene Kelly and Leslie Karen. I would guess is how you pronounce her name. An American in Paris. If I remember correctly, I don't believe Bridget has ever seen this one either. So it'll be a first time watch for both of us. Uh, it's one of the older movies in my to-watch list on Letterboxd, if I remember correctly, outside of a bunch of Hitchcock movies. So I grabbed this, once again, a Blu-ray I never see out in the wild. So grab that to check out. Uh, then we have some upgrades for Bridget. She had no idea I was getting these for her. Like I said, I had taken a picture of all the DVDs that she had that were upgradable there's stuff that she has on dvd that's not upgradable stuff like uh spice world that never got a blu-ray so uh she was pretty shocked that this had a blu-ray and i surprised her with this one and that is the bad seed i've never seen this film from 1956 i believe it looks like a very creepy black and white horror movie i don't know much about it bridget was really excited that uh this was on blu-ray and i got it for her so um yeah i'll definitely be checking this one out at some point in time like i said i've never seen this the next title was actually two titles both upgrades for her so i thought that was pretty cool to knock out two birds with one stone and upgrade two titles and i've never seen either of these as well and that is practical magic and the witches of eastwick Practical Magic, I know, is Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman. Witches of, Witches of Eastwick, try not to look at the cover. I know it's Jack Nicholson and Cher. Susan Sarandon and Michelle Pfeiffer as well. Interesting. Directed by George Miller. And Practical Magic is directed by Griffin Dunn. Interesting. Uh, yeah, so I've never seen either of these flicks. Uh, but once again, Bridget was pretty excited to upgrade two more of her DVDs. 
um, to Blu-ray, and I'm always looking to upgrade to Blu-ray and get rid of old DVDs. So that was that. And the title that we were both, I mean, she knew nothing of what I ordered, so she was pretty excited about this. I was excited. I feel like this is a movie you don't find on Blu-ray ever, honestly. Um, and I had this on DVD on my shelf, and when I saw it was available, I was like, I gotta order that. It stars Christopher Walken, Alicia Silverstone, and Brendan Fraser, and that is... Is that Christopher Walken in this? Or am I, yeah, Christopher Walken. I was right. I don't know why I second-guessed myself. Blast from the Past. Um, it's been a long time since I've watched this. I haven't watched this movie probably since it first came out, honestly. Um, so pretty excited to grab this upgrade to Blu-ray. Like I said, I didn't even know this had a Blu-ray, honestly. And when I saw the two for 21 sale going on, which I believe they're still having. So if you guys are interested in these titles, check them out. Uh, they should still be available on there. So blessed from the past on Blu-ray. So that is everything that I got that wasn't Amazon. And then I have... This pile of stuff from Amazon. I went Amazon crazy in the month of June. You guys know what this is based on the size of the box. It, it's, it's not a Blu-ray. You can see by the size of the box there. It's a pop. And uh, when I found out this pop was coming out, it's not a pop. Did I already show that pop? Did I show you guys my mommy pop? I'm saving this for last. I thought this was a pop the whole time. It's a movie. It's what I want to show last. It was a pre-order. Um, I'll save that. I, I guess I showed you guys my Rhea Ripley mommy pop. If not, um, I, I got a Rhea Ripley pop. Maybe that was May. Wow. Um, well, I look like an idiot. I really thought that was a pop. So, uh, the first movie from Amazon... Like I said, uh, we have something else that's not from Amazon now to show at the end. Uh, this was an amazing deal. This showed up on Amazon for like $5.49. Once again, a movie I owned on DVD. Once again, a movie I've never seen. I was like, $5? I'm going to upgrade this to Blu-ray. It's a Shout Factory, a Shout Select. Goldie Hawn, Wesley Snipes, and Woody Harrelson, I want to say. Yep. Wesley Snipes, Woody Harrelson, Goldie Hawn, and a movie called Wildcats, a shot select. This is still really cheap on Amazon. I'm shocked it's still available. Last I checked, it was like $6.99. Um, not as cheap as I got it for, but still, I got this for $5.49. It was an awesome deal, and I was like, why not upgrade my DVD to Blu-ray? I'll sell the DVD, and when I watch this for the first time, it'll be in high def. It's the Shout Select, so I assume by the time I watch this, if it doesn't make the shelf, it'll have some good resale value if uh, the price goes up on Amazon, which I assume it will at some point. Next up, this is a CD. Definitely not a, a movie. I'm trying to remember what CD I bought. This was a CD I bought the week it came out, and it is... Everybody's probably like, what is that? It is the new Foo Fighters album. Um, I, I'm a huge fan of the fan of the Foo Fighters. Uh, we were supposed to go see them and Taylor Hawkins' unfortunate passing. Canceled the whole tour. The band kind of took a long hiatus. I forget what the album is called. I already have this on my phone. I ripped the CD and put it on my phone. I'm not a good fan right now. I, I don't remember what the album's called. I want to say it's Wasting Light, but that's an old album. Rescued is the song, the big song. Man, they make this like impossible to read. The lyrics are white on white. Well, part of my ignorance, question my Foo Fighters card, um, but the new Foo Fighters album, I've listened to it once through. I gotta give it a few more listens. I enjoyed uh, the first listen of it, but the new Foo Fighters album, uh, had to get this. I'm a, like I said, I'm a big Foo Fighters fan, so I, uh, I ordered that album right when it came out. Yes. 
It's just a bunch of titles I bought, and to be 100% truthful, uh, as I received them, I put them all in one padded mailer because they kept sending them to me one at a time, even though I ordered them all together. The first one I ordered because it was super, super duper cheap. It was $2.49. Uh, I've seen the I Am uh, Chris Farley documentary, and when I saw this was available, I figured why not grab this. It is I Am Heath Ledger for $2.49. I figured why not check this one out. I know it's going to be a sad watch, but um, yeah, I, I enjoy a good documentary, and the price on this um, was, was kind of impossible to pass up. The disc showed up loose. The disc is fine. That's why there's no plastic on it. The case is cracked too. So I had a rough go of it. Uh, this also showed up much later than everything else I had ordered. So for $2.49, I grabbed that. The next title I bought was a blind buy. I had this on DVD. Upgrade to the Blu-ray because once again, I feel like this is a Blu-ray you don't see very often out in the wild. Uh, it was seven dollars and fifty cents, seven dollars and forty nine cents, something like that. Uh, starring Keanu Reeves, Sookie Waterhouse, Jason Momoa, Giovanni Ribisi. Uh, I'm sure this movie's weird. The trailers for it looked really weird. It's a flick called The Bad Batch. So once again, I pulled the DVD off the shelf. I have that to list on eBay. So I will check this one out in high def when the time comes. Um, but I blind up upgrade. I, I, I keep doing it and I keep piling up movies that I need to watch. Uh, next up was a streaming flick and I really, really, really enjoyed this movie. A lot of people kind of hated on it, um, but I thought it was a really fun watch based on a true story. I was so intrigued by the movie afterwards. I went and watched, not watched, read the article about the couple in real life. And like I said, it's a streaming film, so as you guys know, with streaming movies, especially in recent uh, recent memory, they just pull stuff off the streaming services whenever they want anymore. So I had to grab this one while it was available. For $7.50, I got Jerry and Marge Go Large, which is a Paramount Plus film. Um, I really enjoyed this. It also stars Rain Wilson. It's about a small town, and uh, Jerry is a mathematician. He figures out a loophole, not a loophole, basically a way in the local lottery that um, they can always be winners and mathematically can increase their chances the more they buy tickets. And they basically get the whole town involved to like revitalize this old town. Based on a true story, really cool. Read the article after you watch the film. So Jerry March to Large had to buy that to add to the collection. And this was, honestly, this was a, I, I probably shouldn't have bought this. Um, I heard the 4K transfer on this movie is horrific, so I didn't think I needed to upgrade it to 4K. I have it already in a multi-feature set, but I really enjoyed the artwork of the Steelbook. Plus, I want to say it was $8.99. I, I know it was under $10. I want to say it was $8.99. might have been $7.99. But a Steelbook of a holiday classic, one I try to watch every other year. Uh, every year will be ideal, but probably every other year. Another one, I can't wait to show RJ in a year or two more when he's a little older. And it is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, the John Hughes uh, classic with John Candy and Steve Martin, this being the Steelbook release of that. So, had to grab that, add to the collection. I'm going to move this stack very carefully to over here. The last title I bought from Amazon before my pre-order of a movie that I thought was a pop of Mommy. So, funny story with this. I saw the deal. I reached out to the guys. I said, there's an amazing deal on Amazon this morning. Probably not going to be up there very long. Uh, I ordered myself a copy of it. The copy came and it was just what's inside this package loose. No box, no padded envelope. Label smacked right on the, the packaging and it showed up in horrible condition. All the corners were damaged. Uh, there were rattling discs. It was just bad news. And I was like, well, I'm not keeping this. Even though the deal was amazing, <clears throat> I reached out to Amazon. I tried to get like a discount or some kind of credit. 
And they said, you can exchange it. It'll be an unknown amount of time because we're out of stock on this item because of the deal. It was so amazing. So it came like a month, probably like a month later. For $34.99. Um, like I said, a deal that I couldn't pass up. A TV show that is a void or a hole in my watch history. And the corners are worn on this one, nowhere near as bad. And that is the Sopranos complete series for $34.99 on Blu-ray. So all six seasons, six? Yep, all six seasons oh, of the Sopranos, a show I know I need to watch. It's been on my watch list for a long time. This Boardwalk Empire, Mad Men, I need to watch them all. Um, but $34.99, Sopranos on Blu-ray, couldn't pass it up. Deal was way too good um, to, to pass up on. $35 for a complete series on Blu-ray of an HBO show. I, I, I couldn't pass on it. So Sopranos complete series on Blu-ray. And last but not least, the movie that definitely is not a pop. Um, the movie I even was like, look, a Blu-ray can't fit in here. Well, it can if you package it the way this company did, which is diagonally. You can fit a Blu-ray in here, see? No, not this brand. You can fit a movie this way. Uh, a pre-order with an exclusive slipcover. Uh, something I normally do not do. I, I, I don't normally order direct from this company. I normally don't order boutiques. I normally don't order 4Ks pre-orders. But when I saw that they were doing an exclusive slipcover for this with the pre-order, dating back to the movie, the original poster, I couldn't pass it up. And that is the Mallrats Magic Eye 4K. Let's hold it up. You guys can see if you see the Magic Eye image. Let me hold it. I can't do Magic Eye. So it's very frustrating for me. Uh, but this is the 4K Arrow exclusive mall rats i will still be keeping my arrow mall rats blu-ray because the television cuts on this this only has the theatrical cut as well as the extended cut two discs um but on 4k another kevin smith movie available on 4k this being the second after clerks 2 was released on 4k with the exclusive steelbook I now have the exclusive Arrow 4K. I love the Magic Eye slipcover. It's awesome. Um, so this is an amazing addition to my collection. It's an amazing addition to my Kevin Smith collection. Love Kevin Smith, as you guys can tell. And I've talked about Kevin Smith stuff in videos. That whole shelf is all Kevin Smith stuff faced out. So the Magic Eye 4K Arrow Mall Rats. And that is it, guys. That's everything I grabbed in June. Lots of unboxings. Not a crazy amount of titles, not a, eh, there, there's a lot of blind buys, but th there were great deals to be had. So that is everything I got in June. Thank you guys for watching this video. As always, check out the description box down below where you can find links to Letterboxd, Facebook, Instagram, my um, eBay page, my blu-ray.com profile my amazon wishlist email address p.o box all can be found down below my p.o box has changed again that is down below in the description of this video so thank you guys for watching as always until next time who's down to movie